Each year, thousands upon thousands of people apply for those exclusive drama school places. And in the UK, there are currently 20 schools that are rated by the Federation of Drama Schools as being the best of the best. Now, these are the schools that are deemed to provide the best training, have the best teachers, have the highest rates of success for students moving into the industry, and their courses offer entry into equity and spotlight upon graduation. Now, of course, at one of these drama schools can have as little as 20 places, 10 male, 10 female, and for just one of their courses, they are receiving thousands of applications each year. So, how do you get yourself a place? <laughs> Is it down to the most talented? Or those who have connections? Or those who've already had some professional experience? Not necessarily, no. I didn't have any experience. I didn't know anyone in the industry. And in all honesty, I had some pretty serious issues with confidence at the time along with dyslexia and Erlen syndrome, which I discovered while I was at drama school. And yet I secured the first place on my course at the Royal Central School of Speech and Drama. So anyone can do it. <laughs> there are a number of things that you can do to put yourself in the best possible position to get one of those places. Here's my top five tips for drama school entry. So first up, get in there early. Now each course has a limited number of spaces and as time goes on, these start to fill up and that is reducing your opportunity. Not only do the spaces reduce as time goes on, but if they've given a place to somebody who looks really similar to you, in most cases, you won't get a place because of this. And it doesn't matter how good you are, or even if your audition was better, once that place is gone, it's gone and the school has to prioritise taking on a diverse range of new talent. Demonstrate life experience. So show that you have lived a little. They need to see that you have some life experience to be able to understand the complexity of a range of emotions and characters. Be you. Stand out by showing individuality and personality, your personality. Pick a monologue that is, is different, or if it's a known monologue, then put your own take on it. Don't imitate and really show your own personality through your monologues. From the moment you step into the door to the moment you leave, just relax and be yourself. Enjoy the process and be open. So I know it's nerve wracking, but try to relax and enjoy the process. Focus on enjoying the moment without thinking too much about, you know, the what ifs. I think it's easy to get carried away with the future and wanting something and the stakes of it being so high for you that it just crushes you and makes you nervous and not be able to perform in the way that you should be, in the way that you can. They need to see you shine and receptive and open to feedback and to other people as well. You know, will you be a positive class member who's able to handle pressure and who's going to progress really well on their course and be a valuable member of their course? So they're looking at all these different things as well. And lastly, but by no means least, prepare as if you're going to do the job. So those monologues, when you go and audition, it's not the audition, you're going to do those jobs, you're going to perform them as if it was the job. And that means practice, 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 guys. Know your monologues inside out. So not so that they're kind of rigid and locked, because you do need to be flexible with them, because they will give you some direction to take on and they want to see that you can adapt. So that's really important too. So do perform them in front of someone before you go to the audition film them on your camera and review them. You know, do this multiple times, get used to seeing yourself on camera, get used to performing in front of people. And then when you actually go to the audition and you're doing it, it's not gonna be foreign to you. It's not gonna scare you as much because you've done it before, you know, multiple times and you're used to it and, and it's gonna come much more easier to you. And really important guys, enjoy it. Enjoy performing your monologues. That's what this is all about. That's why you're doing it. So relax and enjoy it as much as you possibly can. If you do want to learn more about drama school, our Foundation Academy covers this in depth 
along with marketing and acting agents, casting directors, auditions, and so much more. Click on the link below for more information.